Fire alarms on construction sites. Is a construction site a big fire risk during the construction phase of the project? Is a fire alarm required? Well, the Fire Safety Order 2005 and Jacob Joint Code of Practice state you should have a means to evacuate the site in the event of a fire emergency. The Joint Code of Practice on the protection from the fire on construction sites is currently in its 7th edition. It was formed in 1992 after two significant fires that resulted in a combined loss to the insurance companies of £150 million. This loss was at a level where insurers were questioning whether the insurance of construction site was still a viable option. Of the many items within the code, the item that interested Fire Systems Limited was the ability to evacuate the site, protect the temporary structures to BS5839, monitoring the site to an alarm receiving centre and provide an element of automatic detection when required. So what is the best way to evacuate a construction site? Is it air horns, bells, shouting fire, a manual core point evacuation alarm system linked by radio or a proper fire alarm to BS5839? Well as you can imagine it's all down to the size of the construction site and the results of a fire risk assessment. On a small site, air horns or manual handbells will suffice. However, on larger sites, the sound levels generated by a bell or air horn will not travel to provide the required minimum decibel sound levels. Plus, you cannot guarantee that someone will stay and continuously sound the horn or bell in the event of a real fire. Therefore, on larger sites, an evacuation howler type alarm system or a monitored fire alarm is required. The advantage of a howler system is it is a cheap option. However, the system is not monitored for faults, therefore you do not know if the system is actually working unless you test it. Being on a construction site, there is a fair chance that the wiring will get damaged. Therefore, a monitored fire alarm system is a good option. At Fire Systems Limited, our preferred choice is a monitored wireless fire alarm compliant to the wireless fire code EN54 Part 25. It is easy to install and a minimal amount of wires. This makes it less likely for the fire alarm wiring to get in the way of the construction and be damaged by the building works. Another important factor is what type of fire evacuation plan is being operated on the construction site. On very large sites with a large amount of workers, a stay and put and investigate policy may be the preferred option. What type of system could accommodate such a strategy? A wireless fire alarm to EN54 Part 25 can be programmed to identify the activated manual core point, activate the zone where the activated device is located and place the remaining zones on a state of alert. The alert signal can be a pulsing or a silent um, alarm or set to a preferred time period, say three minutes. A fire alarm system with these programmable features will be able to evacuate the site even if the fire marshals are unable to carry out their duties due to the fire. Fire Systems Limited now offer a complete range of wireless fire alarms that can be hired or purchased outright. For more information contact our office on 0208 541 5646 or visit our website on www.firesystems.co.uk and complete our contact form.